One after the other, for the last few weeks, we've been reporting on salmonella recalls, and we've also been getting some questions from a lot of you about how Ritz and Goldfish crackers even get salmonella. So we put our Evan Kozlov on the case. He's answering that question for us this morning. He joins us live from the FDA building with some new info. Evan, good morning. Hey there, Larry. You know, often when we think about salmonella, we think, you know, chicken, turkey, animals, not goldfish not crackers. So that's as, that has a lot of people asking the question, you know, what's going on here? Uh, we're going to get into that, but first let's give a quick recap of all of these uh, recalls that we've had uh, over the last couple of months. There was uh, June 14th, Honey Smack cereal, no Honey Smacks, pulled after uh, 100 cases in 33 states. July 17th, High V Spring pasta salad after 21 cases in five states. Then the recent ones on July 21st, 16 kinds of Ritz Bits, and Ritz crackers were pulled. And then on Monday, July 23rd, goldfish, four varieties were pulled from the shelf. So what is going on here? Uh, it turns out that this all has to do with something called whey, spelled W-H-E-Y, if you wanna go impress your friends at the bar. Uh, basically, it's this bystandard, uh, excuse me, a byproduct of dairy processing. It's used to make the coating for food like crackers. And of course, it's an animal product, so it can be contaminated, just like chicken. Uh, industrial and basically here's what happened an industrial supplier said uh, that the dried whey may have been contaminated important to note nobody's actually gotten sick from those those crackers and they haven't even found salmonella in those crackers is a precautionary measure because it was found in the suppliers product uh, so basically that's you know that's what caused all this it's called whey. send back to you guys